Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. of my voice because we are preparing yes. to show the world that our democracy is strong and we are great people. On behalf of His Excellency Dr. George Mandela, President of the Republic of Liberia, and His Excellency President of Liberia, Joseph Yuma Wakai, we welcome you to Liberia by the National Council of Chiefs and Elders. We are standing here accompanied by our sister of Australia. Advocate for the rights of women. We adore you, we admire you, we say thank you for a true pan Africanism. We also thank you for the legacy and diversity of our cultures that unite us as a people. You are welcome in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the blessed of Holy Spirit. May Allah be praised. and I present this as a topic for you that says Liberia is Ebola free and it's one of my clothing. in Liberia at this time, along with the uh, the CRC of Liberia, Emmanuel Gongwe all the time, have been talking about you, and today the Liberians will be glad to meet you today. Well, we are very happy to be in Liberia. This is our home. This is a uh, part of the continent of Africa. And I'm happy that uh, EFF Liberia has been doing a good work to try and spread the message of uh, economic freedom in our lifetime. Uh, we are here to witness democracy and freedom in action because that's what we want to see in the continent where elections are held, then the results are announced and there is no spilling of blood of innocent people on the ground. And that is what 
we have decided to come and witness in action. You have been, you have been one of the persons who have advocated for uh, change and freedom across the continent of Africa. What is your hope for the newly elected president? Well, he should save his, the people of Liberia. He must make sure that he delivers on the commitments that were made during election time. The reason why they didn't give the previous president a second term is because he was not loyal to his own commitment. So now we should not commit similar mistakes. We must make sure there is peace, there is economic development and economic empowerment of African indigenous people and ensure that the whole continent sings the song of peace and we must put guns down and resolve whatever issues through dialogue and the power of persuasion. Uh, I'm Sylvester Chiroplay for Spoon TV. Uh, Mr. Malema, how do you intend working with the Economic Freedom Fighters of Liberia to see change in the new government that's coming? Well, the, uh, our sister organization here in Liberia, we work uh, very close together and we're going to ensure that we work with them and we must make sure that they continue to engage with the president-elect and continue to make their inputs. Uh, the good thing with the president-elect and the EFF Liberia is that they enjoy a cordial relationship. They are not one party, but they've got some form of respect uh, for one another. And uh, I hope that the EFF will be given that opportunity to continue to express itself and represent the people of Liberia and the African continent. They played a very important role in securing uh, the democracy and the free and fair elections uh, of Liberia. They could not allow any form of rigging. They did not allow any form of manipulation because the will of the people is supposed to be respected. Thank you. My name is Willie from Front Page Africa. The EF of the establishment in Liberia has been a short while, but has been able to amass a lot of membership across Liberia here in the diaspora. What does this visit bring? Extra thing that the visit brings to the EFF in Liberia. We are here to affirm the EFF Liberia and to say to the people of Liberia, your permanent solution to economic and political challenges and social challenges that you are confronted with lies, the solution lies with the EFF Liberia. EFF Liberia is a committed organization that wants to see the African people uh, being promoted, being listened to, being empowered, owning their own countries and owning their own democracy. So our presence here is to say to the whole of Liberia, we recognize the EFF and its leadership here in Liberia, and we want you to continue to affirm them and put a more motion of confidence in their leadership. Yes, my name is Harris Billy, and I report for Punch FM and TV. And much more particular, you have been a very strong critic of the white. That's according to you believe the whites are taken from the continent of Africa. Liberia has been a long-standing partner to the United States, which by our understanding means the incoming government must reaffirm its support to the U.S. government. Do you see the I'm saying, uh, the reasons for why Liberia is voting for the incoming government, that your EFF era as well were part of and supported an incoming administration that have pledged a commitment to the U.S. government? Do you see any sincerity in your advocacy uh, across the African continent? Well, diplomatic relations constitutes uh, amongst other things, that kind of an attitude. But the EFF's affirmation of the president-elect is not an affirmation of America. It's to say domestically, we find you to be better than the other one and someone that can resolve our issues internally. But when it comes to international policy, we're not uh, seeing eye to eye because we'll never affirm America, we'll never be friends with America. We know what America did here in Liberia and the whole African continent. We know what Europe did. We know what the British have done uh, to our continent. And therefore, we'll never support colonialism in whatever way uh, possible. But Liberia, even under the EFF government, it will have a diplomatic relationship with the USA. It doesn't mean an affirmation. It simply means we don't exist in isolation. Um, okay, so um, sir, my name is Afonso Kalama, and I report for Shiko News. Sir, um, you are one of the critical voices in, in Africa. 
um, you're going to be meeting and interacting with members of the Liberian Parliament. What's the message to them, you know, as it relates to your goal in fight, you know, in, in, in fighting for freedom in Africa? Just members of Parliament must make sure that Parliament works for the people. It holds the executive accountable. There must not be sweetheart of the president and ministers. They must look after the resources of the people by holding those in the executive accountable. If you are a member of parliament and you seek favor and you want to be liked by the president or a minister, you must know you have already failed. You, we are not in parliament. I'm in parliament myself. We're not in parliament to be liked. We're in parliament to make sure democracy works. And democracy can only work if the resources of the state are looked after. How do we ensure that? Parliament must always watch over the executive on how it utilizes the state resources. If it utilizes state resources for family a benefit and individual benefit and friends benefit or patronage, then the EFF and the members of parliament must make sure they make the loudest noise against corruption and using the money of the resource um, the resources of the state for the benefits of certain individuals who are close to the executive